Okay, I am back, and it's now time for video number 30 in this Let's Play. Um, at the end of the last video, I went back to the forest and I got, uh, I think maybe 18 more villagers. Mostly because it's best just to do that off screen. I mean, we've all. Oh my god, he's got a new dream. It looks like a rocket ship, maybe? I don't know. But he's finally got a new dream. Anyways, I went to the forest on uh, off screen. I did that because it's kind of redundant just to uh, keep doing that on screen over and over again when we've all seen exactly where the stars are at. So I've got 21 villagers now. And now I have 22. Okay. Good. Now we're going to work on getting back to the top of the mountain, the volcano, again. Hopefully we can make it up there this time. Going to make sure to kill everything along my way. Hopefully it works. And it doesn't look like it's working already. Great. And we're just going to... No, we're going to leave that down for now. But what we are going to do is just charge in and beat him to death. And that did not really work that well. I guess I'm going back to Spears. What I do want to do, though, is do a lot of uh, iron farming. Because the meat farming didn't turn out that well. Whoa, no, stop it. Okay. I want to do a lot of iron and steel farming so that I can upgrade my weapons. The more uh, iron that I have, I read that I can uh, get better weapons. Like, I think right now I'm at just basic. So that could be one of the reasons why I'm not doing that well in terms of killing fast. Upgrading would tremendously help me. Was that medium? No, that's actually large. Okay, well, I'm, there's another large down there. So that is my plan. Just do a lot of iron farming. And I also noticed while watching one of my videos that I completely missed a couple of yellow stars. Wow, all 22 survived. That's a miracle. And one other thing I did was I looked at my picture book, and those things that I keep calling aliens, those are moths. I don't know why I keep calling them aliens, but they are moths. Oversized moths. If I can kill one right now, I can get some meat. Or I can just eat this meat. As long as I run away very fast... I may be able to do this very quickly. Wow, I just lost a lot of health. And just like that, I regained it. As long as we stay out of his eyesight, we should be able to kill him. Oh, I'm only one. Come on, quick. Quick, kill him. Don't die. No one dies. Thank you. No one died. Now, there is some iron right there, but we are going to leave that for now because I know of an iron repository area where there's a buttload of iron, a lot of big iron, and that's what we're going to go for. Right now, though, we're going to focus on getting past this giant freaking elephant. I have a uh, light stepper, if I can find it. Here it is. Okay, we're going to use this, and hopefully we can get past the giant mohawk elephant. As long as he doesn't hear us, we can walk right behind him. Okay, maybe we can't. We are going to run. Run, run, run. Come on. Everyone run. Come on. That's not everyone. Where is everyone? Okay, there they are. 
Took them a while, but they made it. Now, kill Sleeping Beauty, quick. Nice. We're making good progress right now. Now, there is a spinning creature. I don't know what they're called. I didn't look into that. Over in this direction. That I am wanting to take care of. Because he completely killed me the last time I went past him. Right there. Just got to get a little bit of distance. And now run. Everyone run. Get away from him. As long as we can kill him, we can knock down that wall up there. Good. Everyone run. Crap. And what is this? That looks like a new fruit. No, it's just sweet. We've had that before. Okay. Now we're going to go back up here and knock down this wall. The yellow star that I was telling you about that I skipped over is over in this direction. Wow, that moth is fast. Okay, now get him. Thank you. Okay. The yellow star is somewhere along this platform. There it is. 23. I knew I saw it. And then 24 is over there, but I have to cross that platform over there. So, we're going to have to knock down this wall over in this direction, and then we can do it. We're going to have to kill this guy, though, and get back one of our uh, red stars. Come on. Right there. Thank you. Walk around. There you go. And thankfully he has that boundary we can take advantage of. And some meat we can eat. Thank you. Very nice. Excellent progress this time. I guess going through this area four or five, six times has actually paid off. Now we know exactly what to expect. Except for things like that. So, try it again. Oh, we almost had him. Come on. Kill him, quick. There we go. And now we got a lot of meat. Very nice. Now there's one of the irons we can take back, and there's a giant steel iron, I believe. Not quite sure. But, we can now knock down this wall without any problems. No more poison spitting thingy. We do have more bucks, though. And those are always a problem. Ooh, except for when they hit the boundary, just like that. And except for when they're asleep, too. Easy targets. Ha! Huh. Take that. It's payment for all the deaths you've caused me. Okay, now there's a giant bird right there. We can actually get by him because he's on the platform above us. Except for the fire he breathes. Walk around the geysers. Okay, we're on the way of the geysers. Still getting rained on. Okay, what is sweet fruit exactly? Sweet fruit is... Can I eat it? Uh... So it just recovers me. There's nothing else. It's fine. I thought it had side effects, but apparently it doesn't. Now just run across the geysers. Hopefully we don't get burnt to death. 
or melt by the water. And with the nice little advantage of height, we can take care of these guys. Perfect. We are progressing very nicely now. And now we just have to take care of the giant bird. And we will do that in the next video because we are running out of time. So I will see you then.